Welcome to Cars Uncensored Podcast. Best podcast of all time, pound for pound. Best podcast of all time. Big boxing match yesterday, Canelo Alvarez lost, bro. Who's that? <laughs> Can't believe you don't know Canelo, but he's been on a reign for like 40 fights. No way. And he, he only has one loss to Floyd Mayweather, and he got whooped last night. Um, That's crazy, bro. Yeah. Big uh, fights last night. A lot of big I got to say, I, I don't really care. <laughs> I know. I can't imagine you do. But <laughs> for the fight fans out there, I'm sure they had a lot of fun last night. A lot going on. For sure. So uh, what are we talking about today, bro? I heard this is like your, one of your favorite whips now all of a sudden. I actually have uh, three of these. No way. <laughs> Just kidding. My, my friend three has a... colors? This is a Hyundai Elantra N. N. The N stands for North. Does it really? Just kidding. I have no idea. Did, <laughs> I you, check? Like, what? did you check? Did you check? Nah, it's like their performance line. Oh. Kind of like BMW M. Yeah. You know? And they're just like, what should we do? But the, the funny thing is like, <laughs> like, yeah, it's kind of funny like how they, like you would think like, okay, maybe they copied like the M mm-hmm. and just did N, right? Right. But like the funny thing is that Hyundai and Kia like started out as like just copying everybody mm-hmm. and taking like the good stuff out of cars and at times even the cars looking weird because right. like they took too many ideas and right. compile them together mm-hmm. and they went from that to literally being like the leaders in term in in design yeah it's crazy how like how that came about um and everyone else like either just gradually stayed the same or got worse like BMW in our opinion yeah. but Hyundai Kia some of the best designs you'll see for like daily, your everyday car, you know. For sure, I, I agree. I think hands down, you cannot argue that. And there's some people who are still caught up in like, uh, they're not the it's Hyundai, it's Kia, like it's those Korean. Are, yeah, and um, sorry, man, that's that's not good enough anymore. <laughs> yeah, so you know, this is the N line, which is like the performance that like we covered. Mm. Um, I think that they're kind of expanding on their performance line, which is really cool to see. Mm. Um, and I, I, and like, this is just the Elantra, right? Yeah. But like, I'm excited to see like the other vehicles that they're going to yeah. add to the end line. Right. Right. And could they potentially, you know, take out like BMW M3 and stuff right. like that? You know, like, will that day come? Nobody thought the day would actually come that they were still, first of all, I'm sure that most people thought that Hyundai and Kia were going to be dead by now. Exactly. Um, except, I mean, the thing is about these cars versus like BMW is not only are they super sweet and getting way better, but like, they're like your go-to Uber driver car. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. BMW cannot say that. So, no. um, these things are just popping. Yeah. So this is the direct like competitor to the Civic Type R, mm. which, uh, we, you guys know how we feel about the Civic. I seen a Civic yesterday and... I just got angry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got upset. I was just like, I just, I can't do it. Yeah. So this is going to start at $32,000, uh, according to Hyundai's website, uh, which is not bad. Competitive. Right? It's good. Um, I like it. And it's a performance model. Yeah. And, and before we get into design, I just want to say that the Elantra started out as one of the ugliest vehicles I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. And... It has become, like, one of the most beautiful vehicles out there. Yeah. You know, and uh, I remember um, some guy I used to work with mm-hmm. had a silver Elantra. Little, I mean, these cars were yeah. tiny. They were, like, little. You could fit uh, them in your back pocket, how tiny they, they were. They were, like, little focuses, uh, those uh, little escorts. performance. Yeah, those escorts. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. They were tiny. I mean, um, they, uh, Hyundai, like I said, Hyundai has come a long way mm-hmm. and the Elantra has come a long way. Cause I mean, this thing is like a lot bigger. It's right. more, uh, more solid. Mm-hmm. You know, the design is nice. Um, I mean, just look at the body lines. I mean, this, I know this is performance model, but like these, the overall design of Hyundai in general, which is why we like it so much. It's just so like daring. Yeah. You know? So let's get into design. Mm-hmm. They got some cool colors for this yeah. uh, whip. Not too many color options, but, like, they have some cool options. I think that what makes it really cool looking is the, uh, the red accents yeah. that they added to the bottom trim. Yeah. Um, the, the, the body lines are super sharp. They are. I mean, they're very aggressive. They're, like, pronounced. 
You know, like they want you to know that these body lines are there, especially the side mm-hmm. uh, profile. It looks amazing. In right. my, in my yeah, opinion. I mean, at first glimpse, you think, okay, maybe that might be too much. And then you kind of give it a couple minutes and you give it, you know, some time. And honestly, it's sick. Yeah, it goes, it goes with the rest of the body. Right. And honestly, that baby blue color that they kind of like featured, mm. I like it. No, it's fresh. Yeah, I like it I, a lot. I normally would not like a color like that. Mm. But like I think with that red trim um, and it, the the body shape, the body lines, it goes really well. Um, I think it's going to look even better in person. Yeah. What do you think about that? They went with the, like um, a flat black, matte black yeah. front. Like uh, I love the it. grill and everything. I love it. Super aggressive. It's um, huge. I love blacked out cars in the front like that. I mean, do you think it's a little too much though? Um, no. Like, I think they balanced it pretty well. Uh, it, it's it, it is a lot of black, but yeah, you if you can make it work, then it works. Yeah, I, I think, think it does work too. I think it's sick. You know, they added another you know blue sh- you know trim piece below that, so it it's kind of breaks it up. Yeah, if the whole thing was, and then you got the red lining. I think it all like comes together super nice, and uh, you don't see this a lot. Yeah, it's cool that they went with like the the matte finish, too, because a lot of companies just go with the gloss. Right. You know, kind of like your truck too. You got that like matte finish. Satin yeah, that's finish. one of the reasons why I like my truck so much. <laughs> yeah. When you look at it from uh, you know a distance, you look and you it's, it just looks mean. Yeah, the grill is huge. The grill is on big. this um, vehicle, and it's like you have to really get up close, like this picture right here. Like you have to really go, go like get up close to the car to actually appreciate how nice this grill is. Yeah. And the grill. Being that big and all the little vents that are in the front, they're all functional, right. which is amazing. And you're talking a, a car that's just the Elantra, but you know they're putting all this functionality built into the design. And a lot of companies don't even have that in performance vehicles. Like they use fake grills and vents and stuff like that, but they actually utilize all that into that aggressive front end design that they have no i like that a lot too yeah um and just like the body lines the grill is super ambitious yeah and it works well and it's aggressive and i think we've seen in the last couple of years that like sweet grill design can be like real real nice yeah you I know agree. like you can make something look really aggressive with just kind of changing the design of the grill versus like bmw's grill who's probably even smaller than this just still looks so out of place Beam. Let's not even. Talk I'm about just saying, there. like th- this is an example of making a b- big grill work well. No, I agree. Um, so it's gonna be, it's gonna come with 19 inch uh, wheels as standard, and these wheels are beautiful. I like them a lot. I like them a lot, and even the the mirrors, mm-hmm. the mirrors on this thing look beautiful too. Yeah, something so small, and the, just. They look so sharp, and they have such a unique design. Like, it's hard to, like, you have to, like, really, like, walk around this car, Mm -hmm. just, like, a slow walk around. Look at all the details to really appreciate it, because even the mirrors are completely different than, you know, a normal vehicle. Yeah, it's, uh, like, kind of boxed out, kind of like the car design is kind of, you know, not so rounded. It's got, like, the sharper, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, And I I love the rear taillights. Mm-hmm. The taillights are so aggressive looking. Um, they're very different, very unique compared to like every car, right? Like you have like these mm-hmm. like Acuras that kind of just all look the same. They all blend together, you know, but then you have, and even Hondas, right? Mm-hmm. Hondas are starting to do the same thing. Mm-hmm. Like their Civic, their Accord, they all look the same now. But the Hondas, <laughs> the Kias, they're yeah. still keeping that distinct look between each vehicle, which is really nice. Yeah, no, the side profile, like you said, super sweet for like a small little car like this. Yeah, I mean, you would just write this off. Uh, n- normal cars in this class, you would just be like, eh, it's small, it's nerdy, whatever. But this car, from every angle, shows that it, pr- like, it just proves that like Hyundai is at the top of its game. That like they didn't miss a beat on this car. Yeah, and everything about this car is just super unique. I mean, like, there's so many little details. Mm -hmm. In the vehicle, like I said, so many different, like, small body lines that, like, are all over the car. Um, And then the rear diffuser is huge. It looks nice. They got the big exhaust tips in the rear. Mm. And then that spoiler that they have is, like, it's not obnoxiously big. It's perfect. But, like, the design of it is so different compared to, like, any other vehicle. Yeah. You know, out there. Someone, I mean, a group of people, like, picked this 
car design with like a fine tooth comb. Yeah. And um, it probably, there was no like getting lazy when it came to making this car. Yeah. Um, it's just real dope from every single angle. Yeah. And then the interior on this vehicle, super nice. Very simple design. I like how they incorporated the instrument cluster mm. and the main display, the center display in one. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like a one piece, but it's separate still. Mm-hmm. The AC controls are separate. You know, I'm a big fan of having separate AC controls unless it's a Tesla because I feel like Tesla is the only company that I have actually sat in that, you know, incorporates it well. Mm-hmm. But other than that, like, I feel like they should always be separate. Um, but yeah, they got the simple design, very m- minimal interior the seats are super sporty, but like clean. Yeah, you know, looking. And uh, the cool thing is that the N logo on the seats light up. Wow. Yeah, that's a nice little touch. Yeah, for sure. it's super, super nice little touch. Anybody but with this car will get compliments on that for sure. I know. Um, I, but I like the interior a lot too. I mean, you touched up on everything. I think a lot of cars' interiors are super. I mean, a lot of some cars are just kind of like too alike. Yeah. Um. So it's like, and not that they shouldn't be. You can only do so much. Um, but I love it. It, it. it looks like the, I mean, I drove my friend's, um, 2021 Sonata, uh, like literally a week ago and, um, I, I loved it. I, I don't even care for like sedans, small cars like that. I, uh, I had fun driving it around. Yeah, I believe it. It's probably a whole different, uh, driving experience, you know? Yeah. So the steering wheel is super nice too. You know, I me, mean, I always have to like comment on like the steering wheel. Yeah. It's super nice. They added this uh the start button on the steering wheel. If you can see that red button. Got that Alfa Romeo. Yeah. It's like a you know, like a high high line, like high end sports cars have that. Exactly. You know, and like they added it to that. And it's such a small detail to add, but it makes a big difference. You know what I mean? It's subtle, but it makes you feel like you're in Fast and the Furious. Yeah. And honestly, for being like a smaller vehicle, it still seems uh pretty spacious. Yeah, definitely. Um, even the back, um, the back seats have like a good amount of legroom. Yeah. Um, so let's get into the specs here real quick. Mm. So this is going to be a front wheel drive vehicle. Um, I know a lot of people like you know we were used to seeing all these performance cars like slowly becoming you know all wheel drive. Um, but yeah, this is front wheel drive. It's got two liter four cylinder turbo engine. You know, two hundred and seventy six mm. horsepower. 289 pound feet of torque right solid numbers yeah i mean it's gonna be a fun little drive i mean it's not a huge car so you're gonna be whipping that around and having a lot of fun if you you know get something like this yeah and if you really think about like the civic si which you know maybe is is not a good comparison but like civic si 200 horsepower (laughs) right acura integra 200 horsepower. Well, we'll see that sport model, whatever they come up with, the yeah. uh, Type S or whatever. Yeah. But um, the real competitor t- for this, like I mentioned, is going to be the Type R. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, they got end mode uh, on here. They got launch control, which is huge. The, a six-speed manual transmission is available. It wow. seems like we've been talking about that a lot, this right? It's been like three episodes straight. We're talking yeah, about like, transmission um, new releases. Yeah, it's kind of cool to see, like, some these vehicles, you know, coming out with uh, the six-speed manuals because I love... You know, driving a manual. Yeah. Um, and then you could also get an eight-speed dual-clutch transmission. Whoa. Yeah, which is, like, pretty much like race car status, right? Dude, that's that's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, this this car is going to, you know, have its own culture to it for sure. I agree. I agree. Uh, the I heard a, a sound clip of the exhaust. It sounds amazing for being stock. Really? Yeah. Wow. Um, to build, like, a car like this, you literally just go on their website, and you can only pick the color. Hmm. And the transmission. Really? And like... Everything else is... That's pretty much the only options. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. So it's very basic, you know... I like that. I don't like options. Especially because like, that's how you like trap someone into spending like way over what they wanted to spend. It's like, oh man, I didn't even realize I can't even get pushed to start if I don't spend three grand or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know? Um, But that's nice. Um, Yeah, so... Sharp car all around. I didn't... I could not find any buzzing headlines on this vehicle. Uh, what's I mean? It's it's cool. I, I feel like um, like you mentioned, uh, these type of cars are subtly making a comeback. Yeah. Um, even in the middle of the electric movement. Yeah. Um, and I love it personally. Same. Um, same. I like electric cars, but this is so much cooler to me. Yeah, it's cool to see that like companies are still focusing on their you know gas powered performance vehicles, instead of just being like, hey, let's just go full electric. Um, so, so the Civic Type R is supposed to be coming out soon, 
and it's going to be redesigned. It's supposed to be like a great competitor too mm. to this vehicle. Um, but I, I personally, I think this is a great option for somebody who's looking to like get into like the performance like um, right. segment um, and still have like that luxury, that like reliability, like that unique design. Right. You know, I mean, it, you just you'll stand out with this vehicle and it won't break the bank. Mm. This is a reasonably priced vehicle as long as it's still around that thirty two thousand dollar range when it comes, you know. Um, I mean, if you can actually get one for that $32,000, <laughs> right. you know, range I mean, around that. Why couldn't you, though? If you're, they're saying the starting price is a certain amount. and Well, they're, they're just saying because the market, you know. Yeah. So then what? They're just marking up? I mean, it could be, yeah. So I, just, I don't like this. I have not been to a dealer in a long time, and I don't plan to go. So I, uh, I, I know someone know. who works at a Hyundai dealer. I'm going to talk to him. Yeah, ask him. <laughs> actually, that would be a good uh, update for the next. Uh, we should bring him on the show. We should. <laughs> <laughs> But I think that Hyundai has come a long way, mm. and especially the Elantra has come a long way with Hyundai. And uh, you know, I I think they're doing great. I never work. thought we would make an episode about an Elantra. I know. And here we are, and it's one of the best cars we've ever talked about. <laughs> yeah, for real, dude. This car is clean. I mean, it's it's super nice. such a fun looking car. Yeah. And um, I can't wait to start seeing these. It's gonna give me. I feel like when I see them on the roads, it's gonna give me that K five vibe where. Um, um, you know, when you see it, you're just kind of like have to stop for a second. Be like, oh, that's sick. For sure, for sure. And they, they did such a good job on the lighting. I feel like Kia and Hyundai ha- have really been focusing on their lighting too, mm-hmm. and they're just like really good at it now. No, I mean they know exactly what they're doing. They are not lazy about design. They seem like they do a lot of research about what is sweet, and um, it's just they're killing it. Yep, they're killing it with design. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Cars Uncensored. If you enjoyed that episode, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, share with your friends, share with your mom. And you can also find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Anchor. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.